in a crowded top of the Eastern Conference. So let's check in and dive into the 76ers a little bit more as we say hello to our senior insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, how has Joel Embiid's injury impacted how the 76ers are going to approach the trade deadline? Malika, it hasn't changed the way Philly was approaching trade deadline uh, in this way. They remain buyers in this marketplace. They've been engaged all over the league uh, on multiple players. And I think certainly, you know, Detroit is a place that the Sixers have talked with Alec Burks, Boyan Bogdanovich, but, but a number of other places and different kinds of players. They would like to get some size uh, to kind of stave off this uh, several-week period without Joel Embiid, some shooting, some ball handling. Uh, I think this is a Sixer team, you know, that believes that they can get uh, until Embiid comes back, you know, essentially with a, a group around Tyrese Maxey, uh, Tobias Harris, that, that they hope can stay out of the play-in. Right now they're in fifth place. You know, they're, they're a few games up on Indiana for sixth place. They don't want to drop below there. And they are still operating, Malik, as though they believe uh, they're going to get Joel Embiid back at some point. And when they do, they want to be able to have a supporting cast that still allows them to make a run in the East. All right, because we have seen them be one of the most dominant teams in the NBA this season with Joel Embiid. They want to make sure that infrastructure is still there if and when they get him back. Woj, thank you so very much for spending a little time with us.